Yu-Gi-Oh! is probably one of the best things that's ever happened to me. Now, I know you're probably thinking one of two things. Either A, hey, that's what's up, and I'm right there with you. Or B, damn, I'm on the wrong channel. I mean, you're here already, so you might as well stay, right? Nah. Do what I did with my hometown. Chuck up the deuces and get the heck up out of there. Because, I mean, find something that's more suited to your viewing needs. If I can't provide it for you, something probably will. Granted, I left my hometown to get up out the ghetto. Honestly, look at this. Oh yeah, we get no radio play, cause we talk about what's really going through. Shit like what? The killing, and what? The drugs, and what? Them gangsters and the motherfucking thugs. Yeah, this how it goes down in the K, it's the hood, it ain't all about the military base. And you can get killed in the K, it don't matter where you live, it don't matter where you stay. Oh my god. Freaking shame, right? Anyway, story time. So let me hit you with the whole shebang of bang. Alright guys, let me paint you a picture. It's 7th grade year for me, and there's only two things on my mind. One, no, no. <laughs> let me paint you a picture. It's 7th grade year for me, and there's only two things on my mind. Number one, making friends. And number two, playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I would eat, sleep, and breathe playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Absolutely loved it. After school, I'd run home to turn on the TV to watch Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Arguably the best show of the franchise. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! was alright, but GX and 5Bs were perfect in my opinion. I mean, 5Bs... Might have been a little here and there, but what the heck is Zexel, all right? So, I mean, sue me. Anyway, there was something that intrigued me about playing a children's card game that just, for some reason, got so hyped up and competitive that made it seem so fun. It was way better than going to actual school, I'll tell you that. In the show, they went to class, and instead of talking about things like Pythagorean theorem, lab safety, and other supposedly important things like sex ed, they talked about the important things in life, which are like monsters, spells, traps, fusions, synchros, ritual songs, all the important things you need to know. In real life, if two kids had beef with one another, they tried to put up their hands, talk about boxing and whatever. And like in Yu-Gi-Oh, all people had to do was dramatically play that children's card game and it would resolve all their problems or make things dramatically worse. For Jade and Yuki, playing Duel Monsters was all about trying to be the best, make new friends, and then go on great adventures. I literally wanted to be just like him. Sue me, I was 12 years old. Sounds like the dream, right? Try to follow your dream in real life, however, and then you get laughed at by like, other kids and your dad. And you're like, like really? Over there thinking, you come back in your mind and all. They was like, like really though? Anyways. I had made it my personal mission to make Yu-Gi-Oh my means to make it about the ghetto. So sue me, I was 12. Anyways, where I lived there was only really three options to make it in about the ghetto. Number one, you had to have like a mean crossover. Number two, you had to find like a good scholarship or some way to pay for you to go to college or whatnot. Or number three, you joined the military. Now, I'm not saying I had the meanest crossover or anything. Finish him. Well done. But that wasn't the route I wanted to go. And most people that just ended up joining the military ended up back here anyway, so it seemed to be real counterproductive in my opinion. Yu-Gi-Oh scholarship anyone? Again guys, I was 12. Anyways, if I was to make it big, I had to prove it. And the only way to do that was to have some people to train against. I needed some competition. I pitched the idea to my boy Obsidian and he was down immediately. It started with just he and I playing at lunchtime and then eventually my friend Gerald joined us and then three turned to six and then eventually to 12. And then by the end of it, we had a whole lunch table blocked off. I'm talking like, not one of these, one of the extra long ones. Somewhere along the road, I met two of the best duelists our school had to offer. The dueling duo, sometimes known as the Robots, my best friends Jeremy and Jacob, were some of the greatest duelists I've ever taken on ever. Together, they were a duo not to be trifled with. They were a great dueling pair. Most were even afraid to take them on because they came off as so intimidating. But for me, they were just another challenge to overcome, and if you're watching this, you know it's true. On many occasions, I beat them. On many occasions, they beat me. We would exchange L's back and forth. It was good. I got better, they got better, and it kept the game lively. It kept the game fun. The whole experience was amazing. I made so many friends, and then I got to hang out with people that enjoyed the same passion that I did. And it wasn't anything I'd trade for the world. For once, I actually truly enjoyed going to school. Middle school wasn't as bad as I thought it was. I remember one day an assistant principal came up to us and then asked us which one of us was the leader of this little cult we had going on. I remember standing up proudly and exclaiming to her, if you've got a problem with it, I'm the leader. 
And this is only the beginning. Or something to that effect. 